Jeff the maintenance guy. Um, if you have a Gentech, or what's called, used to it was called a XM13 motor, but this is the same exact circuitry as far as I can tell um, in your AC unit. So let's just put this up here for comparison. If you see something like this on the back of your blower motor module, it is not needed to remove the entire motor. We removed this one just because we we had a noob that didn't know that you could just take this module out and unplug it. The module is potted with nice rubber, so you can't see the circuitry underneath it. This is a brand new module. This is the same motor. Um, this costs $300 somewhere around $300 we're just gonna put it in between $150 and $300 for this if you buy the assembly the motor which is a generator also because it has magnets in it it's a DC motor so if I was to spin this right now I could light up a light bulb just spinning this and I've done it it's kinda gets harder to spin when you put the light bulb on it because of the load um, Mainly, you, you just plug into this three prong right here. This three prong goes into here, and this controls the motor. Well, if this is in your unit, some of these have gone out only two weeks after we've installed them. Now, I'm saying it costs $300 just for the module, upwards of $300 for just this module. Now, labor ins installation and stuff like that, um, you, you could get a crooked AC guy that's going to be like, well, it took five hours to do it. No, actually, it's something that you as a homeowner can actually do because there's like only two screws that hold this whole blower assembly in and it slides out. Just pay attention what wires you got going into the plug here. And most common is going to be one big plug that plugs into here. And then uh, number two is going to be a blue wire, and number four is going to be a white wire. Number blue is your speed wire, low, medium, high. Easy as that. And number five, not even used in most cases. Anyway, so if you have um, this in your house and it needs to be replaced and all that, you want to pay $300 just for this or close to three hundred dollars just for this and it's a one-third horsepower i'm using as an example here that's what this motor is also if you want to do this in your house i don't see a reason why you couldn't unless you're in a wheelchair or something like that or just i mean if you if you don't have much experience with electrical and can't operate a screwdriver i wouldn't i wouldn't mess with this so um You'll probably electrocute yourself or blow something up. I don't know. Anyway, um, Jeff the maintenance guy here just saying that if you have these X13 motors in your blower motor, I would just switch them out for a capacitor motor. I think they're called APC motor. I, I can't remember. Anyway, but uh, yeah, you just plug that in there. Put this back on here. There's two screws that go on here one and number two and that just goes through these holes on the back you don't even need to actually remove the blower housing all the way you unplug the wires coming from here slide it out you then can gain access to it most of the time just take this off put a new one on and you're good to go and that's what the technician's going to do when he comes to your house um Pretty sad that this is going to cost you $300. Technician is going to charge you $400 for it. And then probably $75, $80 to $100 just for labor. And it's going to cost you about the price of the whole entire motor. And all he really did was just go click like that. Um, maybe you'll get lucky and get a different AC technician. I don't know. But uh, as far as I see it right now, that's what you're looking at. $350, $800 for both. So, uh, just a maintenance guy, you yeah, have a great day.